Alright everyone, welcome back to a brand new video. Now in today's video, I'm going to be running through a few of the things that I really don't like about my Fiesta ST. Alright, so after owning this car for probably around a month or two now, there's just a few things I've noticed in my ownership that are really quite annoying. There's no parking sensors, bloody hell, I should send it back. And uh, today I'm going to be going through a few of the things that I just don't really like about the Fiesta ST. Now some of these things actually relate to all Fiestas, and uh, some are just to the ST themselves. But yeah, let's get on to the first thing that I noticed straight away with this car as soon as I started driving it. Now what I noticed straight away on the Fiesta has to be this right here. Now this, it may think, what, well, it's just a little seatbelt thing, but when you're driving, you plug your seatbelt in, it constantly makes this noise. And when you're driving along, trust me, that gets incredibly annoying. Every bump you go over, every, even when you're just driving and the, and the road's a bit bumpy, bumpy, you just have this noise constantly in your ear. Yeah, that's the first thing that's just annoying and uh, I will sort out one day. Okay, the next thing that I'm gonna show you guys is actually something that is a glitch in the system. I noticed, I've, I've done it a few times and it is really annoying when it happens and that has something to do with the infotainment system where the whole screen just freezes and you cannot use it for like two to five minutes. It just glitches, the whole infotainment system shuts down and uh, you just have to wait five minutes to, for it to reset. Okay, so we're going to want to start the car. Alright, so, the way this glitch always happens to me... No USB okay, shush. Alright, so you have the screen here, and uh, I'll try and make it do it. It might not do it, but... So what you do, the way this has happened to me, is basically, when I turn off traction control, you have the bars loading up here, and then you think, done. You let go, and then sometimes, the message just stays up there and it freezes on the screen. And you have to wait for it to all of a sudden just turn off, then it will reset itself. Okay, so moving on to the next thing, there's two things here which kind of tie in together. And uh, that has to be this whole instrument cluster, infotainment system, the whole thing itself is just, in my opinion, diabolical. Now I'll tell you exactly why, because I mean, you're looking at this straight away. We'll talk about this panel here and I mean, look at it. There is so many buttons. They're all so small. So when you're driving, it's like, I mean, you, you never use half of them anyway. These buttons up here, I actually find them very useful. I use them all the time because you can save numbers and quick dial, which is really good. They've just based it on quick buttons for everything, but it's almost to the point where there's just too many. Even like, what does DSP mean? Another radio button. I like, honestly, display, what does this do? Absolutely, it's just shut down the car. TA, what does TA mean? What does TA mean? What does that even do? And that brings me on to the next thing, and that is the actual screen itself and the way it's just used. So you have the screen here. Let's go into menu, one of the useful buttons. Okay, so you just have this tiny screen. The actual screen itself, one, is way too small, and they've put it so far into the car that it, when you're sitting back here, Look how small it is. It's just ridiculous. They they could have bought it to like the front here and just had it, you know, almost like the size of my hand. You don't, why is it so small and so far away? I don't know. There is so much rubbish on here, which is just, I don't, I don't understand. Oh, there's another menu I've just discovered. It's just really not user friendly this at all. Like it's, it's just complicated and unnecessary. I've just thought of another thing I really, really don't like about this car. And uh, that is the build quality. Now, of course, the car's not going to be up to German standards. You know, you get what you pay for. But they put an upgraded stereo system in here, the Sony system, which is actually really good. What the problem is, is it's really quite bassy. And the problem is that when you're playing music out of the speakers here, I know it's in the front and back this, because it, it, it vibrates. You know the noise when the speaker's blown and it has the no annoying, like, rattling noise? It sounds like that all around the car. The speakers aren't blown. I know where, because you can stop it. Like, if I hold this handle here, it stops the vibration. But it happens in the back. Back, it happens anywhere so if you go above volume 8 you can actually hear the vibrations so imagine if you're doing bloody volume 30 the whole car would shake probably the panels would start falling off just from the vibrations and uh, yeah it means you just can't have loud music there's two more things that i don't like about my fiesta and one of them is the windshield now you may be thinking what that is a windshield but hear me out now the windshield on a Fiesta is so big, like they kind of forgot to stop bringing it up and up and up and it goes so high up here that, I mean, yeah, you've got the sun visors, which are bloody massive. It's either pinged up all the way up there, or if you want it there, it pings back up. If you want it there, pings back up. So you have to have it minimum. Nope, that's pinged up. The main problem 
is it's just so high. Even the window wipers, if I turn the ignition on, even the window wipers don't go all the way up here. Look, not even close. They go to there. So you have all this windscreen, which is just pointless really and it just means the sun gets into your eyes and the final thing that i really don't like about this car and it really should be a lot better than what it is and that is the exhaust the exhaust on this thing is so quiet but also just sounds awful like the car sounds dreadful For a sporty hot hatch, it should sound way nicer, and they've really improved it on the Mark 8. But in this, it just sounds dreadful. It just sounds like a normal hatchback. It should sound way nicer than what it does, which is why I'm going to be getting an exhaust hopefully soon. But yeah, let me show you what this thing sounds like from the outside. Yeah, they are the few things that I don't really like about the Fiesta. I'm really, I really like the car overall, don't get me wrong, the car's great. But there's just a few things that I pointed out, which I just think they could have improved on, could have been a bit better. But uh, at the end of the day, the car was cheaper than all its rivals, so you kind of get what you pay for. Yeah, overall, the car is great. The driving is insane. Let me know if there's any things that you don't like about your Fiesta down in the comments below. But um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, please leave a like and subscribe. And uh, yeah, I'll catch you guys in the next one. From the game, looking down at the rafters. I had to sun these boys, can't leave them bastards. A lot of dudes, just some undercover actors. I don't fall for it, I'm perfect to all your tactics. Yeah, so try again, it's time to take a vitamin. Yeah, and vitamin, welcome to the lion's den.